Fun Paula here. Today I'm going to be doing three different types of uh, breakfast sausage and cheese casserole. And um, what I've done is, is I have the first pie shell I'm making is going to be zucchini, squash, and carrots. The second one's going to be a rice cauliflower uh, crust. And then I have the traditional croissant that I normally use for a pie shell crust. And I'm going to show you how I do that with all three. And then I did a roasted potatoes with a sausage uh, pepper gravy. To try um, something different, and I am going to make a casserole, uh, a casserole. But I'm going to use a vegetable crust. So what I've done is, is I have a pie pan and I'm just going to oil the bottom and then I'm going to put this back in here and then what I've done is is I have some carrots as well I'm going to add for a little bit of color I'm going to add some carrots in there. give it some texture so I'm going to mix this up So now we need to incorporate I'm going to use one egg for binding so now we need to incorporate the egg in it so we're going to mix the egg up in it Keep everybody in. So we want to make sure it's like a pie shot's gonna get pretty. Okay. So we're gonna take this. So we moved it to the top. The cauliflower rice. Now this is frozen. So I'm going to have to make sure that um, I get enough of the water out of it so it's not as mushy. So the same process.
I know, I'm playing with it. Oh. Alright, and off to the oven we go with this one. I'm going to do the traditional. So we're going to take the croissant roll. Now this is a small pie, pie pan, so if you have a larger one, it may take the um, a whole croissant package, but and I probably could have done a smaller one, but I went ahead and grabbed the large one just in case. So I'm gonna start with half. And I need to pre prep right down. Start with let's start with four eggs. We might use five. Okay, so I have four eggs here, and then I'm just going to mix it up. just a little bit just to give it that extra yum and this will give you a good chance to smooth it out regular sausage nothing fancy no spicy nothing is whatever you want to use turkey sausage and this is a half a cup and it's still just a little bit warm and you can add more or less And this is about a cup. And I'm going to take my cheese and kind of spread it through there. 
Now, if you want to add extra seasoning like garlic, salt, and pepper, and whatever you want, I mean, you're welcome to do so. Whatever your preference is. put that on at um, a timer for 10, 10 minutes, just keep an eye on it, and then only till it's your preference to golden brown, whatever you prefer. Okay, so now I have my, um, my little pie crust that we made with the zucchini and squash and the carrots, and as you can see, I've cooled it off, and it's browned. So now I'm going to put my my egg and cheese and I'm going to use sausage in this one as well. So I'm going to put it to the side and then I'm going to bring my little cup thing over. I think we're going to do probably about five. So now we have the, um, this is the cauliflower rice, and you can see how well it did. It really held up. I was a little concerned about it. I wasn't quite sure. And you can tell it's even got like, like it even helped really well together underneath. This might be my, as texture wise, by putting a pie together, um, this might be my vegetable one I might be going with more. The, the one with the zucchini and stuff was still a little soft. You really couldn't pull it away from the edge without falling apart. Okay, so we're going to set this to the side. And we're going to start with our eggs again. Same process. Gravy with the rest of the sausage is left over. Okay, this one is the pie crust with the croissants. And this one is the zucchini and squash and carrots pie crust. And this one is the cauliflower rice pie shell. Alright. 